Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simurky. Welcome to my tutorial series. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a fountain in The Sims 4. This is a very basic tutorial. As we go on with the series, we will get more advanced. So for now, I will just show you exactly how to create a basic, simple fountain. So when you go into build mode, it automatically takes you to this build screen right here. If you click on the fountains, we can, we can see all of our different fountain tools. Now I did a pool tutorial, which is very similar. If you want to check that out, I'll leave that in the description below. Um, um, but basically we have our first one which we can basically drag and and drop wherever we want it's going to give you that basic square or rectangular shape uh, next we have our custom fountain tool where you can actually freely draw um, by just clicking and dragging and clicking and dragging and clicking and dragging and closing it off. So there is your custom fountain tool and then next we have our little shapes such as triangles, squares, diagonal pools <laughs> and octagonal pools. So you can click and, and change those as well, however you like. Some of the shapes get a bit distorted. Um, I don't know. I, I prefer to just draw my own, but as you get more advanced, you might find some really cool ways to use these different little tiny fountain shapes. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and bulldoze this lot, lot and we're going to go back to our fountain tool and just create a very basic fountain shape so I can show you the rest of the features. So next we have our fountain trim. And just like the pools, you can pick any fountain trim that you want. And this one has a tile trim that comes with the base game with some different colors. We also have our stone trim, which I don't know, I feel looks a little bit more like marble that comes in a few different colors as well. And then we have our budget fo fountain surround, which uh, I, I guess it's just, I don't know, it looks more like stone. It looks more like stone than the stone one. And then this came with Spa Day. It is just a smidge fountain ridge. And this one is uh, sort of more flat. Looks a lot like the basic pool trim that we have. So once we get a, rid of all these and go back to our basic pool trim, we're going to move on next to our water emitters. Now this is fun. This is where all the sprays and fountains are located. So we have so many different ones. Uh, they obviously look better in live mode, but I will just show you basically what you can do. You can just set them down and create your own little displays. Um, so these little small leaping water emitters will leap. And then the small dancing water emitter is going to dance. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go into live mode so we can check that out together and there we go we have the two on the side leaping <laughs> and the one in the middle is going to start dancing for us <laughs> so the best way to learn what they all do is to just keep going through clicking on them setting them down and checking them out in live mode um, to keep this tutorial quick and concise i am not going to go through every single different water fountain or water emitter shape um, but there are different ones that just get bigger. There's domes and things like that. Um, you can definitely play with those on your own time and have some fun with those. Next is our fountain decorations. And this part is super cool. This is my favorite. We have some lily pads. Um, if you have different packs, you can get algae and things like that. Um, but with the base game, we do have, of course, these lily pads and Where's my favorite one? Oh, here it is, the water lilies. Look how pretty that is. Doesn't that just look beautiful in any fountain? You can also put these in the pool as well, which is nice. And we have some fountain lights, which are basically the same ones we get with the pool, um, except the fountains don't go down as deep. So you can go down a level to see exactly what you're doing and sort of place those wherever you like. Uh, obviously you can do a much better job than I can. <laughs> and then we also have our decals that also come with our pools. Now the other water features are the pre-built fountains that you can attach to these or you can put them separately. So for example, this one will sit on its own, but it kind of has the water going straight into the grass. So you can definitely just set it in the middle of your fountain instead, just like that. Um, we also have, let's see, if you have spa day, you have these awesome little slabs that just look like little stepping stones. You can kind of put those all around your fountain as well. I'll go ahead and remove those for now. And then my favorite, which is, it is base game, which is awesome, are these little spitty fish. I absolutely love them. You can set those anywhere you want on your fountain. And of course, they will they will emit water right into it. I'll go into live mode so you can check that out a little better in a minute. Um, and then we also have this freestanding one as well. It's a modern fountain. Again, you can have it freestanding or you can put it anywhere inside 
of your fountain that you like. Of course, each game pack comes with more and more, such as waterfalls and things like that. We'll save those for a more advanced tutorial, but for now I'm going to go ahead and remove some of these items and <laughs> just show you the spitty fish because I think they're absolutely adorable. So we'll get our spitty fish here and our spitty fish there. And once we go into live mode, you can see these little guys in action. Aren't those cute? <laughs> now for a more advanced tutorial, I will definitely show you how to add landscaping and rocks and things like that to your fountain. But for now, that's gonna do it for this tutorial. So if you guys had fun and you learned something new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. There is an entire playlist of tutorials. Make sure to leave comments below to let me know if there's anything else you wanna see. And of course, there's tons of videos on the channel, building and touring houses and having lots of fun with The Sims. So I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. Wait guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.